here, if we go back to the bottom left, that's our normal tongue feature. This is um, not all of the 30, but these are the, um, the, the tongues of those initial 30. Um, and we see two main features. Most of them have what we would term as a thick white tongue coat. That's what we term as greasy. It's kind of moist. Um, on the second row and the far uh, left and the far right, those are good examples of that. Um, where the tongue coat itself is uh, more thicker than we want to see it and it's white in nature. The tongue body itself is almost swollen. We see this kind of center uh, crack down the middle of most of these tongues. These patients are retaining water. They're having issues with water metabolism. They're having issues um, with normal secretions. We know with most of the patients, they have dry, unproductive coughs, dry throats. However, uh, what we see as the action of this pathogen is that it's not allowing the body to make normal, uh, normal fluid secretions of the nasal passages and uh, the respiratory system and throat and the mouth. It's stagnating it. It's, um, it's stopping it to such an extent that the, the fluids are thickening and they're not uh, circulating normatively in the body. So there is phlegm, there is sputum for these patients, but it's just clogging up the bronchioles. It's not thin and easily expectorated. Um, and so we define this pattern as uh, cold and damp. 